Hey Wilson, get in here, man. I want to show you something, man. I got this new JBL. Oh, you brought the people with you. Hey, boys and girls, what's up? And welcome back to New Stuff TV 2, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine. Let's bring the party, Richardson, because today we're checking out the JBL Extreme 4. Wilson, I'm glad you brought everybody with you, man. That was real generous of you, like, to bring everybody with you. I wasn't really prepared for this. I got all this stuff messed up, but we're going to do it since y'all just showed up on a nest. Hey, man. I got the JBL Extreme 4 here, I got the JBL Extreme 3, I got the Boombox 3, and I got the brand new JBL Go 4, and I got Raylan the dog. So, Raylan, you're gonna be good today, right? Don't be, I, I, I'm, I'm watching you, son. Anyways, I'm in here experimenting, man. So we'll talk about the speaker in a bit, but I wanted to just kind of make sure that AuraCast was compatible or backwards compatible to Party Boost because the new JBL portable speakers have AuraCast, whereas the old JBL speakers have a Party Boost. Now, they have the AuraCast button on the JBL Extreme 4 and Party Boost button on the other ones. You cannot connect them via button. You have to go inside the app. So on the previous JBL speakers, all you gotta do is press the button on each one of them. Boom, 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 boom. And they all just find each other and sync up and it just plays in harmony. You can't do that anymore with the older, with the newer but you can still do it with the app. So let me just get in the app real quick and uh, let me see if I can share my screen with you because I'm nice like that. I'm gonna share my screen. I'm gonna start recording right about now. And uh, let's see here. So we got the app. I'll show you what's going on in here. We got some JBL presets here. We got JBL signature, which is pretty much the best way to do this. For some reason, people think they need to EQ their stuff, right? Sometimes you do, but seriously, it's JBL. You think you're gonna EQ your stuff better than JBL EQs their stuff? You could try, but we got chill, energetic, vocal, custom. Let's go into custom because now we got some new stuff, baby. Five bands, one, two, three, four, five bands, okay? Of EQ there. And then, I don't want custom. I want JBL signature. We got this playtime boost. And this right here, let me turn this up a little bit. No, it's down. You feeling that thump, Wilson? Yeah, sounds good. I gotta say something about that. You feeling that thump, right? Mm -hmm. Now, with these speakers, the JBL Extreme 3 and the 4, I feel like you gotta play them indoors. Like, they need walls to bounce up, off of to get the full sound in the bass. Once you take them outside in the open area, I feel like they kind of empty out. Like, there's no more bass until you position it right. That's just been my experience, man. I mean, they do produce it. You just can't really hear it without some something to bounce that bass off of, which would be the walls inside of a house. But that kind of negates the fact that this is like an outdoor grab and go type of speaker. So I don't know how you guys are messing around with your JBL Extreme 3s and 4s. The boombox, however, I don't care where you put this thing, it's gonna blow your underwear off. Anyways, back to the 4. So we got this playtime boost, right? And the reason why I brought that up is because right now you hear that thump, right, Wilson? Yep. Now I'm gonna hit playtime boost. Oh, got a little louder. It got louder, but what happened? What's missing? Oh, the bass is gone. Yeah. <laughs> so, <coughs> essentially, once you press playtime boost, it boosts the battery time by stripping out the bass. You get oh, what I'm saying? Oh man, all right. So like, let's say you're at a park or something. You don't, you, you're not hearing the bass anyway because there's so many people talking, you got trucks going by and stuff, but you still want to hear the music. Just play, hit play time boost. Now you got louder volume, more play time as far as your battery life. And, but you wasn't hearing the bass anyways. So it makes sense. Does it make sense to you? It does. It, it makes sense to me. So, I mean, I like the feature. So that's something you can toggle on and off. But right here we got stereo group. So you can easily stereo group if you've got two of these, right, Wilson? You got two identical speakers, you can stereo group them, but that leaves out all the other ones of the JBL lineup that you have. Like, I got a Go here. I don't think it's compatible with the Go. We'll have to figure that out in just a second. Let me cough real quick. <clears throat> so you got the Extreme 3, you got the Boom Box. It's compatible with these, but I do not think you can do it. Let's go back, because this is how you got to party them up together. So we hit, uh, no, we got to go out to the main menu, and then we hit this little button out here, it says add speaker. See right now, I'm, so the party's empty. You see this real thing in the middle? Mm -hmm. I got the party empty. So I'm gonna add this, let me turn this up a little bit. I'm gonna add the extreme four. It's adding itself to the party. The party's right here. Watch, just go add itself. Hurry up, man. 
I, I like doing this in real time so people can see if it really works well or not. All right, it, I don't think it did nothing. Hold on, <laughs> let me add it again. Come on, man. You're kind of messing with me here. Oh man, this ain't working out. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, let's, let's stop playing music. Let's see if it works that way. Okay, wait a minute. So, oh, there it is. Okay, maybe you gotta stop the music, I'm not sure. Anyways, so that's added, right? Now I'm gonna turn on the Extreme 3. I do not have it connected to my phone, Wilson. Um, it's, it's unpaired, so is the Boombox 3. It's unpaired. Matter of fact, let's just turn this on too and we'll turn on the Go and see if they just kind of show up. So, oh, they're, yeah, they're populating right there, but they're kind of grayed out. The Go 4 is in there, okay. So what if I add the Go 4? Let's see. Hey, so, okay. So let, let's party real quick, let's party. Do, I'm not hearing nothing. I got nothing, Wilson. Hold up. Do it. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's that's clear. Oh man. Yeah. It just took a second. All right, all right, all right. So we got we got a Go Four and an Extreme Four playing together on Auracast. Now, how do I add these two? Let's see. Ah, you see that, Wilson? It says, cannot add to the party. The selected product is non-compatible to this party. Please dismiss the current party to start a new party with Antoine JBL. All right, let's, let's, get, let's get rid of that go for it. I don't think you can do... All right, man, we finally got this thing connected. Dude, that was, that was quite the process. It, it took a bit. Kind of annoying. The, the app was just kind of doing things and populating speakers and taking them away. And it was, it was kind of wonky. I don't like this. <laughs> Personally, I, I don't like it. I don't like how Sony does it on the app either because it's not always going to be seamless. JBL, you had a good thing going. You really did with the whole tap, tap, ding, 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 and it would just work. Now this, this whole thing is kind of a mess. So hopefully some updates will fix that, but that's how you get them connected. You got to go to the beginning of the app. You hit the party button and then you can just select them, but they are all playing. So let's get some, dude, let's put the boom box in the middle. Is it still on? Yeah, it's still on, okay. I'm giving you the music, Wilson. Yeah. Stand back, Wilson, stand back, baby. What you think, Wilson? Oh, Raylan, Raylan, Raylan likes it. Let me, let me get some of that, Wilson. Ooh. What you think, Raylan? Dude, that's... I don't know which one. It's that one. Okay. What you think, Wilson? Sounds good. <laughs> yeah, <It's>, right. yeah. <laughs> that was wholesome, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you think, Ray? Sound pretty good? All right. We got to get on with like the actual video, the product. So I just connected these, right? These are old, man. These are outdated. Let's just get these out of here. No, they're not outdated. <laughs> these are good speakers, man. Let's leave this one up here. Let's leave the uh, Extreme 3 up here. We're gonna talk about it just a little bit. Not too much because I gotta do a completely separate video comparing the GOAT or the, the Extreme 4 to the Extreme 3 because I like YouTube views. I, I do this for views and money. So I need to do another video. So we're not gonna do it all at once. Anyways, we got the Extreme 4 right here, Extreme 3 right here. There are some, uh, a lot of similarities, but there are quite a few differences as well. You see this? That's the big difference. You see that? I like that. JVL, you did it, homie. You gave me a base, an actual base. So this thing just doesn't go rolling off, you know, into the into the darkness. You know, this thing just rolls off. In fact, that's that's all we gonna let's just roll it off, okay? <laughs> it's gone. Now we're talking about the JBL Extreme 4 only. Look, we got a lot of things to talk about. First of all, something that I don't like. I wish they would change, would have changed this. You see on the top where it has the Orcast button and then you got the power button and the Bluetooth button. You can quickly see that, right? And they've kind of camouflaged the play and pause and the up and down button. I feel like they should have swapped that, man. I want to see the buttons I'm using all the time. You know what I'm saying? I wish they would have swapped that. But I showed you the base. 
Now, Wilson, can you see this? Can you see that? We have a removable battery. So if you've got the right screwdriver there, you can just pull that out anytime you want to and swap your battery out. And that's what, this is why this is important. So this morning, my JBL Extreme 3 was actually, it was dead. The battery was completely drained, okay? So I thought it was broken. Like, you know, sometimes batteries just die. So if that was the case, you can just put a new one in here. I would hate to have to do that because it's probably expensive to replace a battery, but at least you can, right? And let's just say you are like the road warrior. Let's just say you want to buy an additional battery. You can buy an additional battery and get yourself even actually just double the playtime on this thing. So that's pretty clutch that you can just unscrew this, pop a new battery in, and you're good to go all over again. Since I got it in my hands, let's talk about that chunkiness. You see that? It's a little bit, it's, it's got a little bit more chunk to it, man. It's, it's fat. Matter of fact, Wilson, get in here. Let's bring that three back. Ugh. Let's bring that three back. Look at it, man. It gained some weight, man. It's been on that creatine and protein shakes, man. <laughs> Dude, been eating some hot wings and some, and some tortas. Is that what you <laughs> Yeah, man. Oh, man. Dude, do you like, is it pupusas? Oh, pupusas, yeah. Oh, man, those things are delicious. What is in there? Uh, I mean, you can put anything Is it like want. fried cheese and peppers? You can put almost anything inside of it. It's basically just like, just like a uh, tortilla just uh, and just stuffed with whatever meat or whatever things you want in the middle. Dude, Wilson, I do some really heinous and shady things for a good pupusa, man. <laughs> <laughs> man, they're delicious. Man. They really are, bro. <laughs> but you see, this thing's been eating the pupusas, man. <laughs> this thing is thick, man. It's thickety thick. All right, let's check this out. So on the three, we got that speaker booty, right? where they have the uh, the charging port right there and then the USB-A and a, was that, a 3.5? You got that in that speaker booty. You close that up and you got your IP67 rating. We ain't got that no more, man. We still have an IP67 rating, but we ain't got no speaker booty to keep closed up. Right here, all you get is an exposed USB-C port and it's exposed because it don't need to be closed up, man. You just plug your USB-C cable right in there and charge this thing back up, get that battery life going. As far as aesthetics, not much has changed. It's just been a few subtle changes. We have more prominent little, um, you see these little, let's call them prongs. They're just a little bit more prominent. They stick out a little bit more. It does look a little bit more extreme than the previous version. I still would not play it this way. I don't think that's the ideal to play it or ideal way to play it. It's supposed to be laid down like this as a front firing speaker. And, um, but in the case you like bump it up against something or it, it like drops on the ground, I'm pretty sure whatever you bump it up against, uh, it's gonna break. And if you drop it, check the concrete. This thing is built like a hand grenade. It's, it's just, it's solid. This, th this is what JBL is known for with their outdoor portable speakers. High quality build quality. Like they use good materials, it's sturdy construction and you could, they could be used as a weapon of mass destruction if you want them to. Since it's an extreme speaker, we do have the infamous strap, which I'm indifferent about. Wilson, how do you feel about the strap? Uh, it's all right. <laughs> well, I personally think a speaker this size, the strap is beneficial, guys. It, it really is beneficial. It's been updated a little bit. It's got a few more, you know, cues to the aesthetics. It is adjustable to, you know, you can come down to your knees or go up to your torso. But speakers like this, I really feel like they should have like a small handle or a scoop in the back. That way you can just kind of pick it up because it's still, it's like just beyond palmable. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I just want to pick it up and the strap would be in a, a great addition. Why can't you do both, JBL? You done done everything else. Got aura cast in here, removable battery. Why you can't shove a handle in there, man? Hook your boy up with a handle. Anyways, then once you take the handles off, you're left with these shackles, which, you know, I could take it or leave them, whatever. Then you got your JBL branding right there and everything else is still classic JBL Extreme 3. And you know what? I'm here for it. And you know what else I'm also here for? That sound. I like the lows. I really do like them a lot. That's what JBL is known for with their Bluetooth speakers. The portable ones, those, those lows are nice and solid and thick. Where this thing really doesn't seem to shine as far as like classic JBL is like that boominess outside with no walls. Remember when we yeah, talked you, about that? You just lose the load. <clears throat> yeah, man. So I don't know. It's kind of counterintuitive. Counterintuitive being that it's an outdoor portable speaker. If I took this to a like a court, like you know, volleyball, basketball, skate park, or something like that, I can hear it. It's gonna be loud, 
but I'm, I don't feel like I'm going to get the bass because it doesn't have walls to, to boom off of. Because it sounds fantastic in here. But, hey, man, it is what it is. It's the JBL Extreme 4. Wilson, how are you feeling about this thing, man? Uh, it's thicker. <laughs> you said, what did you say? It's, it's thicker? It's bigger, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's bigger. It is better. <laughs> what else, man? I mean, you got any, like... It like, sounds great inside. I have to give it that. Inside, yeah. it sounds <clears throat> awesome. It really um, does. If you're a person that goes out a lot, the strap is definitely going to be useful. They kept the bottle opener, which I'm happy about. Oh, yeah, on the strap. Yeah, they kept the bottle opener. In case you got it. that Corona with you. Yeah, right. <laughs> what, 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 what you drink, Wilson? Uh, I do, uh, sue me, but I do uh, 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 Angry Orchards. <laughs> Angry, Angry Orchards. Orchards. Oh, I like the apples. Uh, is, yeah. it, is it the apple? The apple. The apple crisp Yeah, one. I do like that. Man. Yeah. It, two of them get me right, and that's why I, that's right before I start talking trash. Two. <laughs> 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 Three. You might want to sit down somewhere, man. I'm gonna give it to you good. <laughs> what else, Wilson? What else you got? Uh, let's see. Uh, I love the bass. I'm glad that they finally added a like a real. Oh, bass the to bass. It. Yes. About time. Now it do, you got to actually push it or kick it for it to move, man. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah. And it's just I don't know. It's the same size. It's it feels like a familiar speaker, mm -hmm. uh, just with a little bit more of a like life improvements, I guess <clears> you could say in it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, overall, it's updated. Yeah, it's updated. It feels updated. It does, it does feel like a newer extreme speaker. Okay, so here's the question. This, this is going to be the solid answer. If you have an extreme 3, do you feel like there is a reason to upgrade? No. Oh, I don't believe so fully unless you're looking for those quality of life improvements. Okay. Uh, if you really need that solid base, the battery. Uh, the well, battery, this one, yeah. they sound very similar. Yeah, they sound similar. I mean, if you if you need like a changeable battery, uh, if you want like a better you know better stand because that one does roll. The Extreme Three does roll a lot. It rocks and rolls. Yeah. So if you need something Good that's God. a little more solid, then mm -hmm. you know. But if you're if you're constantly going out and like you know taking it out with you if you go camping to the beach or anything, I'm sure either one will do perfectly fine no matter how you use it. All right. Cool. Well, it is what it is, man. Wilson just gave his opinion, and I'm gonna give you mine. I love the Extreme 4. In fact, here's the thing. I don't like the price. It's, it's like, let's just say for all intents and purposes, $400. It's like $380, $379, round up to $400. I, I have never thought any of the Extreme speakers were worth $400. What about you, Will? I don't think so either. That is absolutely insane. It's pretty perfect. <laughs> for another $100, you can get you one of these, right? Um, but if you've got that money to spend and you want a speaker of this size that you can do these things with, I don't think you would be disappointed. Probably not. I, I think it's if you're good... buying new, yeah, I don't think you'd be disappointed. Yeah, yet. I think you you love your speaker, man. So yeah, it, it's a it's a quality speaker. I'm just I'm flabbergasted with this walls thing, like how <laughs> yeah. it sounds outside versus inside. It feels <laughs> like a completely different speaker. But the JBL boombox and the charge don't have that problem. No, never have. They they thump inside and outside. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, and for you guys always talking about, yeah, you got to plug it in to get the best out of it. Look, man, I ain't, ain't nobody doing it. Wilson, if you bought one of these for $400 and somebody told you in order to get the best sound out of it, you got to plug it in, what you going to do? And, oh, it's portable. It's a portable. The whole sunny point <laughs> is a portable speaker. Come on, man. <laughs> That's the whole point. I ain't plugging jack in. Now, y'all keep being good to each other, and I'll see you when I see you.